Well, shoot. Not really great weather today. What am I gonna do? I know what I'll do. I'll go fishing. <laughs> Let's go see if I can't catch a salmon. I've been fishing a couple of times already this season, and, and I mean, I caught some trout, had some fun with that, but I have really not had the time to get into it and catch what I want to catch, which is a nice big fat salmon. If I catch one, I'll do it for dinner tonight. But you guys need a video because it's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday and I do a short video on Friday, so I'm going to take you fishing with me right now. I'm Sean in Alaska. Let's go fishing. We have extremely sucky weather today. I move back in again. This just seems to be the norm for the summer here this year. It's nuts trying to get anything done. Um, it's Thursday and I need a video for Friday, so I'm going to take you salmon fishing. I'm going to go fishing right now. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it'll be a 10 minute video. Hopefully by the time everything's said and done, then hopefully we'll have some salmon on there. That'd be awesome. Um, not much I can do on the property right now. Like I said, I'm just waiting for the final final to get leveled out. I don't know if he did it or not yesterday. I'll swing by the property and check today. Because the place I'm taking you to go fishing is right down the street from the house. Or right down the street from where the house will be. I just don't feel like heading all the way down to funny river and uh fishing that there and not only that but that cost me five bucks and all the gas to drive down and back and i can set up the camera a lot easier down here at this spot and uh hopefully there'll be something to actually show you with the camera it's been about forty thousand fish per day in the river every day for the last week or so i had a couple of big days a little over fifty thousand fish didn't any seasons over and uh Now the fish are starting to come in. Kind of a slow run this year. I think the escapement they're looking for is 1.3 million, and they're at about 700,000 fish now. Uh, I understand pinks are in the river as well as silvers. Silver fishing, I'll take you that. I want to do some of that. I've never actually caught a silver, and I've never caught a pink because I've never really fished for them. I usually just fish for reds and kings. Um, winter kings. Fish for those out of Homer. I'll post a couple of pictures here. Show you some fish I have got, just in case this turns out to be a bust. But I've caught fish before, trust me, I have. <laughs> Let's go fishing. There we have it, the river. The mighty Kenaiti.
Since the fishing was a bust, we'll give you a sneak peek at an upcoming video. How's that sound? Ah. Although, even the worst day of fishing is better than the best day of work. You got out here and finished cleaning this up. It's still a, just a muddy mess. There's really so much you can do when the ground's this wet. They still got the bulldozer back here, too. You must not be done. Okay, so as I'm getting ready to edit this video that is going to be a short one going out tomorrow for Friday, I'm going to brew myself up a pot of coffee. I have something to sip on here. Um, and I'm using the French press and I'm actually recording it because a friend of mine, and probably a friend of mine via YouTube, um, him and his wife have a channel, Max, um, Max Homestead, and I'll put a link below so that you guys can check them out. Uh, we were talking about coffee and that I don't have an electric coffee pot. I don't have a whole lot of electric appliances if I can avoid them. So this is one third, get over here, soon. make sure it's in a cup. This is one third of a cup. Um, this is how you decide what your strength of your coffee is gonna be. Make sure your French press is cleaned out. This is actually, that's 20 ounces, that's 24 ounces. So it's probably about 28 ounces worth of coffee that it makes. And just pour it right in the bottom there. I got the water. I got the pot set to boil right now, so I got the tea kettle going. And it's a super, super simple way to make coffee. Um, I was, the reason I could have an electric coffee pot. Um, the reason I don't have an electric coffee pot is because, uh, for whatever reason, between the uh, fifth wheel trailer that I live in now and the um, motorhome that I lived in before, um, I've burnt out five coffee pots in seven years. Ah, yes. Okay, so we're ready. Bring the coffee, or I bring the tea kettle to a, a full boil. So, got our coffee in the bottom. One of the instructions that I read when I first got this was uh, to go ahead and pour some hot water in here first and bring it up to temperature. This is tempered glass. We're not going to have a problem here. I don't do that anymore. And then I'll just pour it until I get just about to that bottom line, the bottom of that uh, middle line there. And a lot of times I don't even do this. But this will make sure you don't have any dry clumps in the bottom. So it all gets going right away. And then again, you can leave this to um, set right here. Or um, you could push it down right now. It's completely your choice. Um, I, In the beginning, I was leaving it up like this for a couple of minutes. And then I press it down. But hold the lid. Press this down. And now it's pushing all the coffee grounds down. I'm going to have to clean this filter pretty quick. And pretty much just like that, you've got coffee. Now, of course, the longer you let it stay, the, the stronger it's going to get. Um, a lot of times I'll just leave this set for three or four minutes um, in the morning, but let me hold this up to the light. You can't even see through it. I like a good dark cup of coffee, a good dark black cup of coffee. I don't even know if you could see that when I did that. Whoop. Yeah, you're not seeing through that, huh? Pull it back here again. And they say the same thing with the cup. Warm the cup up. Sometimes I will. And, and just by warming the cup up, all it's going to do is uh, keep your coffee nice and hot in the cup. Especially with these ceramic ones. Now for the taste. So, nice, rich, dark, quick, easy coffee in a French press. Oh, it smells so good. And once you get your amount that you want in there, um, decided, you know, once you decide how much coffee works for you, um, it's pretty much going to stay that way every single time when you make your coffee. So super, super simple. Um, I, I do find that when I'm doing some uh, more of the dark, dark, darker roasts, because um, I do like really dark roast coffee, I can back off a little bit on it. But I mean, this is, I just poured, this is a huge coffee cup. Um, 
so I'll get another cup out of this easy. So this is just a quick two two cups of coffee for you. If you're the only one in the house that drink coffee, it's super simple to, to use, and you never have any that goes to waste. That's it. Colby, give it a shot, man. It's awesome. Um, the Max Happy Homestead, I'll put a link for him below. And uh, Colby, I'll do you a shout-out on here just so uh, you'll know that I actually did this in the video for you because I told you last night when you were live I would go ahead and do this. They've got a great channel, folks, by the way. A wonderful family, uh, totally going for the, the full self-sufficient, um, the full nine yards of self-sufficiency uh, on their own property in Mississippi and just a lot of fun to watch. Their lives are just a blast. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to edit this video. Talk to you guys later.